So, I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. I'm sorry, I just got stuck just watching Red's outfit. Welcome back to Heel Kaiju Gaming. We got some more WWE 2K20 action. If you've guys been, if you've guys, if you've guys, if you've guys, if you've guys, if you, if you guys have been following along with what's going on with 2K22, you already see that there has been some gameplay footage. We might have even uh, made a little video taking a look at the gameplay footage and giving our take on it. But I am actually a little bit more excited for 2K22 just in terms of the way the gameplay has been looking. And hopefully we, once we're done with this, I never have to take a look at 2K20 ever again. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president? Also, this is less of a career mode and just like you're just jumping us around. It doesn't feel like I'm in charge of my career. It just feels like I'm just watching. I'm playing bits and pieces of somebody else's stuff. It's not cool. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I got given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. This is about to be real messed There's up. Not some kind of misunderstanding? It, it has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This... Really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. I mean, if you do it now, it would be better. They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? Oh, by the way, since they uh That's got my boy great. done and my girl Diamond Watts looking like goofs, I figured I'd just lean into it. We're kitty cats now. So much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Did you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. I mean, wrong. true. Makes sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know yeah, I mean, maybe just a handshake or two could get you right pushed now. up to raw. Maybe. maybe. Who knows? Dessert should be out. Sure. I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena. Finally. They really got my boy out here being a straight-up goof. A champion you could be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very... Very long time. I mean, Samoa Joe should have been done had like the universal title over his shoulder, but now he's out of the company with a whole bunch of other people. But I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of wait, the GM Randy Orton. I, I, wait, huh? Monotonous because there will be no universal title changes for the next 500 episodes. This is all you will see me in this ring. Holding this championship. Like, bro, you, so you're saying for the next 10 years you're going to hold on to the title? from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. I mean, yeah, like, dude, just jump in the barricade. I saw him visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. 
Come on, Joe. You're giving him what he wants. Are you telling me that that I take the title off of Joe the first time I'm seeing him? I hate that. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. Isn't that what's going on right now with, with Austin Theory? Or at least how he started over here? I think I'm some kind of joke. No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> That's what's about to happen. Sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe, the man who's going to choke the life out of you. If I'm a spectator and I'm watching this, I'm going kind of apoplectic. If my boy Joe loses to some random nobody that just pops up on Raw. Also, GM Randy Orton? I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is going to Oh, no! Hit the ref! There you go. That's what I meant to hit. Honestly, after taking a look at the gameplay for the new game, 2K22. Yeah, gra grab the ropes, dude. No way. What the absolute hell. If I see this as I'm watching the four hours of freaking Raw, I'm pissed. Yeah, you want to you want to get the hell up on out of here? Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion. I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up, not interrupt Samoa Joe. Doesn't matter. I'm champion now. Your crazy way of doing things worked yet again, but now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. You left your luggage, bruh. If you find your friend before I do, you tell him this is far from over. I mean, like, you was talking all that smish mass. Let's be real. If you're gonna sit here and talk all that scallywag, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta back it up, man. Now's my turn. Turn for my girl. As I said, we kitty cats. We kitty cats now. Here she comes. Not that there are any easy matches in WWE, but this is a, certainly a tough draw for Red in this Money in the Bank qualifying match. Oh, I agree, my boy. Oh, snap. Nope. Ronda Rousey, just to get a chance to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match is no easy task. It's kind of like surviving an encounter with a great white, only to get thrown into a river of piranhas. Good luck with that, Red. 
Oh yeah, I had to remember it's it's this again. Seeing seeing all that footage that got me all super excited for everything coming in the future. I gotta remind myself what the buttons are. She's got her absolutely. It's with that DDT, baby. What the hell was that? Oh, oh man. Amazing reflexes on display. Now with complete control. Oh, Trying to end it quick. I say no. Oh my God. Oh, an elbow drop. Thank you. Wow, she turned that one around. Get reversed. The world got to see Ronda Rousey make her in ring debut at WrestleMania 34, but that wasn't the first time she was in a WWE ring. That was yeah, stomp on her. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania. Hoist her up on her own petard. Got to the yellow health. That kick will stop you in your tracks. She's taking charge here. Dictating the pace of the match now. Rousey no. Hits with that bad boy. Stay down. No. Why did it take you so long to get that move set up? With that back, backslide driver. It is just incredible. It's electric in this arena tonight. Yet another counter. Woman, get off me. Somehow one step ahead of each other. Make the last shot count. Just moving so freaking slow. Red setting up for something big. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Woman, focus on what you're doing. Why, why, why are they so susceptible to being distracted? Like, dude, dude came out here. Wasn't like he was like about to grab. Like, if he grabbed her, it's a disqualification. You could have just let that one slide. Hey. There's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Psst. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me. How do you not know that that's me? I think you mean incognito. Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good. But just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's Sorry, I've, I've had this for the whole week, and like, I what do I not have plans to go to Raw or something? And I don't know if you heard, 
But Joe ended up costing me my money in the bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away, leaving me to deal with him. I mean, again, you had the match in the bag. It was you who let yourself get distracted. Let's be real. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way. But you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take it. Stop. One of the reasons I mean, but like, you, you taught it to me. I learned it. I did it. So why are you mad? So congrats. You got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes. I mean, yes. Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess. Against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. The cool. frick I am. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. The following contest is scheduled for This ain't gonna be a contest. This is gonna be a burial. Like somebody dying today. And hasn't he also been released from WWE? Everybody gone. As I said, we kitty cats. We kitty cats up in this bitch. Check my math on that one. The math ain't mapping. Unless it's a alternate world where yeah it is. I don't know. Freaking out. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. Rock Lesnar. Cool, 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 cool. I'm a kitty cat. Winning the universal title makes you the guy in WWE. So, so let me let me see what I have to do. Do I have to just win the match, or do I have to do some prompt shit? Oh, prompt shit. It's certainly been a roller coaster of a week for our universal champion Trey. Yep. Our GM wants that roller coaster ride to come to a screeching halt. So much so that he convinced Brock Lesnar Gotta to sit down and oh there you go for the first time in years. Doesn't take a genius to predict that this will be the first and last time Trey defends the Universal Championship. Is this your king? Got my Black Panthers on! Never say never. Never. I just gotta get you to, to yellow health, bruh. Championship at stake. You know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. From the middle rope. Ouch. Moonsault into the DDT. Wow. Guys, I'd say what you got, homeboy. Moments in Brock Lesnar's career would have to be the night Paul Heyman betrayed him at Survivor Series 2002. The challenger's looking shaken. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Hop your butt back in this ring. the ring now. Leg sweep, turning the momentum to his favor. Things are really going his way now. Uh oh. Poison run on your ass. Back of his neck. This yo king? Is this yo king? Come on. Come on. Get off the ropes because I, I want to make sure it counts. WWE Championship that night. That's right. He lost it to the big Playboy, if you don't get off them damn ropes. Oh, shit. 
Brock counters with the F5. It's Samoa Joe. Wait, he's got Paul Heyman in the Coquina Clutch. Why? Joe, did you do this in TNA? Just kidnap people with a rubber knife? And now the beast is headed straight for Samoa Joe. Joe, I'm pretty, uh, uh, Brock, I'm pretty sure you would have let. Like, where's the ring? Wait, ring the bell. Thank you. Disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title. And I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. You know what? Samoa Joe's bring me my title or bring me Nakamura run in NXT was the best. And it's also incredibly frightening, so I'm a little scared. Oh, hey, we finally have... I, I'm actually a little bit annoyed. Like, a little annoyed, because it's only just now that we got a chance to take control of our peoples. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I know we got some uh, experience points, though, so give me just one second. We're going to go and, ahead and you know, snap those up real quick. Be right back. Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Vipes. Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes. Yeah, you know, I'm with that. Come up with. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. You know what? Whoop his ass. Not just whoop his long. ass. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't oh, whoop his ass. Absolutely. Whoop, whoop my character's so ass. Week. Am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. And another one that's gone. All right, what come on, come on, I gotta say. Hey, I heard you're in the fatal four-way last chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight. Then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the money in the bank match to then get a chance to face me for my Her team. lips aren't even moving. A gambler, but I really Her lips aren't even moving. Has it always been the case or am I just noticing that now? How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is charity. So good luck, long shot. Am I just noticing this now or... Have their lips never been moving? Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So, how can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you wow. want to spot in the money in the bank match? It could lead you lied about my dead parents. The last thing I think you need to be is salty right about now. I don't know. Do I accept Trey's offer or you know what? Nah. Then they made me call him Trey. Done. If I can't win on my own tonight. Then I don't deserve to be in the money in the bank ladder match. All right. Good luck. If you change your mind, I'll be in catering. Got to take advantage of it while I can. And with that, we are running a little long on time. 
and there's going to be a very frustrating segment coming up for next time. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for joining us. If you made it all the way through this video, use a real one. I want to appreciate each and every single one of you that popped in to watch. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We got more of this WWE 2K20 My Career Mode action coming up, and hopefully we'll be done with this and can get into some 2K22 stuff. But for right now, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, and we'll catch you next time over here at Heel Kaiju Gaming. Deuces.